Hi, in this video we're going to work on some examples of finding the fundamental frequency and period of uh, discrete time sinusoids. So we're going to answer this question in blue, is the signal periodic, and if so, what is the fundamental frequency and period, and I'm going to work through these five examples, x1 through x5. Let's start. So let's consider example number one, e to the j 9 pi over 4 times n. All right, well, we already said that, well, this is part of that form where we have e to the j omega 0 n. So right away, we identify a possible fundamental frequency of 9 pi over 4 n. And I say we possibly because remember we have to figure out is there an integer k times 2 pi over another integer n 0. Um, I may have left off the n 0 in the previous video but this is the fundamental period. So that's an integer k is an integer. Are there integers that satisfy this relationship? If so then yes it's periodic. All right so in fact I'm going to leave off temporarily the, uh, the zero there because we don't know yet. We don't know what the fundamental frequency is. So we've got this constant 9 pi over 4 and we want to be able to write it as an integer over an integer times 2 pi. Well right away we see that the pi's cancel. That's crucial actually because we have to have an integer relationship. So we have to be able to cancel pi's if we're going to have an integer relationship. Now if you like you can multiply by 4 on both sides and so we see that 9 has to be equal to k over n0 times 8. Uh, yeah, not equals, times 8. So the question is, again now, can I pick integers k and n0 so that when I take k over n0 times 8, I get 9? And remember, I want to start with small k's. Because the idea is that the fundamental period is the period is the smallest n zero that will satisfy this, and such. Uh, so I want to start with small k's because small k's will produce small n zeros. So so ask the, ask the question. Well, what happens if k is equal to one? Can I write nine as eight divided by some integer? And so you run through your brain here to try to find an integer n zero so that that's true. And you can't do it, actually. So that's not going to work out. And you can try k equals 2. Right, k equals 1 does not work. k equals 2. So in this, in this case, we'd have <clears throat> 9 equals 16 over n0. So, you know, rack through your brain. Can I, can I pick an, an integer n0 such that 16 divided by n0 is 9? No, you can't do that. And you can, you can keep considering k's, but what you're going to find is that k is going to have to be equal to 9 in this case. So that when, what we have is 9 equals 72 over n0. So can I find an n0 such that 72 divided by n0 is 9? Yes, I can. n0 is equal to 8. So this is the fundamental period of signal 1 here, x1 of n e to the j 9 pi over 4 n. And so that means then the fundamental frequency, remember, is 2 pi over n 0. 2 pi over 8 or pi over 4. That is the fundamental frequency of this guy. Now, if you've if you're been paying particular attention and if you're a good student and you're very observant, you will remember from the last video that we said that pi over 4 and 9 pi over 4 are the same frequency. So there we have it. So we would say this is the fundamental frequency here, pi over 4. So we answer, we answer uh, yes. Yes, this is periodic, and there are our fundamental periods and frequency. Okay, let's move on to example two. Okay, a similar question, right? A similar signal. 
So we identify uh, the omega here as being negative pi over 2. Okay, negative pi over 2. So the question is, can I pick integers k to pi over n0 such that this, this is satisfied? If I can, it's periodic. So you can, you can try k equals 1. Or even before that, notice that the pi's cancel, which is critical here. Okay, and if you want, you can multiply by 2 on both sides. And so you get negative 1 equals k times 4 over n0. All right, so now actually try k is equal to minus 1. So now we would have minus 1 equals minus 4 over n0. So the question is, can I pick an n0 such that minus 4 over n0 is minus 1, an integer n0? And yes, I can. n0 is equal to 4. And that's the fundamental period. So yes, signal 2 is periodic. Its fundamental period is 4. And that means its fundamental frequency is 2 pi over 4 which is equal to pi over 2. Big surprise, right? You could just look at signal 2 and say that its fundamental frequency is pi over 2. Okay, moving on. Let's, let's take a look at example 3. Example 3 is an interesting one because, well, if we distribute that negative pi over 2, we have 2 times the sine of negative pi over 2n minus pi over 2. Okay, minus cosine of 9 pi over 4n. Now, we've just shown that the omega 0, or the frequency 9 pi over 4, this has a period of 8. Right? That was example 1. And here, the frequency is like example 2. And we showed that this has a period of 4. So individually, this guy repeats every 4, every 8, every 12. 4, 8, 12, 16 samples in time. And this guy repeats every 8, 16, 24, Okay, 32 samples in time. So when do they repeat together? And that's the least common multiple. They repeat together every 8. Also every 16, but the least common is 8. So we conclude that yes, signal 3 is periodic. Its period, fundamental period is 8. And that means its fundamental frequency is 2 pi over 8 or pi over 4. Yes. All right. Example 4. Sine of 10n. Well, again, from inspection, we think that, okay, maybe, maybe the frequency is 10. All right, because that's what's, in, that's what's multiplying the independent variable. All right, so if that's going to be the frequency, then I have to find some k times 2 pi over some integer n0 such that this is true. Okay, so the question is, can I, can I do that? Well, notice, you know, k and n0 have to be integers, and so there's nothing here to cancel the pi this time. So nothing here to cancel the pi means that there's no way that I'm going to pick integers so that I have, um, you know, 10 on the left. So no, I can't do this. And so we conclude that signal 4 is not periodic. Moving on, 5. Notice here that I have, okay, two separate components. We've determined that this one is periodic with period 
So, you know, with frequency uh, pi over 4, which means it's, it was, it's a period was 8. Okay, and this one, we just concluded that it is not periodic, which means it does not repeat. So the, the sum of something that repeats plus something that does not repeat, that is not periodic. And that's it.